person. Mr. FBA, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead and give us your thoughts uh, about the subject and uh, any thoughts you have about it. Okay. Well, I w- I want to go back to the clip where the false accusations were being put out <clears throat> by the females. Okay. And I wanted, I wanted to, this is my first time talking to you. I had to create a channel because when I was 15, I got sentenced to 10 years to prison for false accusation. Mm. Wait, what? Yeah. 10 years? 10 years in prison. They charged me as an adult. Now, this is just my proof. I was in Claxton Juvenile, Savannah Juvenile. I'm going to skip over the counties, but I went to Coastal State Prison. Then from there, I went to Reesville State Prison. Then I went to Autry State Prison. Wait, wait, wait. How old were you when you went in? I was 15. Oh, and when I went to prison, I was 17. And what, so, okay. Well, I don't know what you can you know, talk about. I don't know if there are any oh. limitations, but share what you can. Okay. Now, what I wanted to share is this. When I was in prison, there are a lot of brothers, black men, who are in prison for the same situations, who can't fight their case because, like me, I had a public defender. And what they suggested that I do was not take it to trial because they said if the individual showed up, that that alone would get me sentenced to at least 30 years. So they deceived me into taking a plea deal of 10 years at the age of 15. Damn. But when I was in there, Dr. T, man, I was, the the mental breakdown that you deal with being that young in a place full of, I don't, I don't want to say criminals, but full of savages with that type of situation. Mm. It, it, it plays down on your mind, man, breaks it down so bad. But what I, it, I'm trying to get my thoughts because I'm I'm, out, I'm trying to get my thoughts together because just you, thinking about it. Can you tell us anything about what you were accused of and how that happened? Yeah. Okay. What I was accused of, I was accused of child molestation. Okay. And what led up to that was the woman I was dating at the time. You notice I say woman. The woman I was dating at the time, we got into an altercation that got physical. Then it was drugs involved. And, you know, when she got on the drugs, you know, she kind of went a little psychotic and me and her ended up getting into it. And when I left, I remember her saying, that's okay, I'm going to get you. And I'll never forget, it was about maybe two weeks later, I was getting ready to go to school and my mother called me to the room and she said, they want to see you at the, at the, um, the city hall. Mm-hmm. So I went down there and this is where it's messed up. Now they kicked my mother out the room and they basically built their own case against me they was i was telling them what happened and they used my own words against me even though i was innocent i was telling the truth i did not know that that would happen i thought if i told them everything that happened everything could be fine but they ended up using my own words thinking I'm proving myself innocent and telling the truth, they use that against me to say I did have those type of tendencies or being based on my stature that if something, I could do something like that, which I never did because okay. of the whole altercation. So how, how old were both of you at that time? Uh, at the time, she was 20 and I was 14 going on 15. Yeah, and they never said nothing about the age difference at all. Even wow. though she was older than me, they never bought it up. She said, "She said that you mol- you molested an older someone that was older than you." Is what you? No, 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 no. Oh no, she was saying that I mol- that I molested her daughter. Okay, yeah, you didn't make that clear. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you. But, I thought you were saying they were they were talking about the physical altercation between the two of you. Mm-hmm. But you're saying so. You're saying the physical altercation happened. She threatened you she was going to get back at you Mm -hmm. she accused you of molesting her daughter and how old was her daughter her daughter was six at the time so when you were brought in and questioned 
you were, you know, they were asking you about the six year old or they were asking you about the fight? What, what were they, they, was asked, they was asking me about the fight. And then what they, they asked me, have I ever disciplined her? Okay. And I told them, yeah. And they asked me, how did I discipline her? I said, sometimes with my hands, sometimes with a belt, whatever's nearby. She, you know, depending on how bad she is. Okay. Then mm -hmm. they asked me, go ahead. No, go ahead. Then they asked me, okay, well, how do you spank her with your hand? Okay. And I showed him how I spank her with my hand, which was touching on the buttocks. Okay. okay. What did, now? What did the woman Man. specifically say? What did she accuse you? Like when she, what her, what was her accusation in particular? In particular. Okay. After once we got in, once what she said was that when we got into the altercation, that her daughter was in the room and I aggressively touched on her inappropriately, which is, she was in the room, but I did not touch her like that. Right. Now I did scoop her up, but I, as far as that, no, I didn't do that. But that's what she told him. And then she started basically saying that I look at her daughter funny, you know, that I, that she's caught glimpses of me um in, inappropriate touching and just a, a whole bunch of accusations that were not true wow yeah, and you're saying the accusation was while she was in the room with you that's the the the, the fight is what started off but basically she painted a picture like this was something that i've been doing mm -hmm. that yeah. i've been doing over time now if we've been together this whole time right why didn't you never bring that up right that's one way and go ahead no, i said that's one way to put it go ahead and, and man you uh, man how easy it is to get in that situation a lot of people don't know it's easy so easy right for a woman to put that on you and it's so hard to get off and i right. mean hard but I it's mean, so easy to this, put it on. But you know, but you know, brother, on this show, you know, we've we've had we've had men who will say um, when they're getting divorces, the 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 mothers of the children. Well, I'm talking about um, they're they're married, right? And that they, mm -hmm. they're actual ex-wives or soon to be ex-wives in order to to uh, to get an upper hand in the divorce in terms of child custody and things like that. They will actually make these same kind of accusations. So mm -hmm. it, it is it is very much prevalent. Yeah. Sometimes with the lawyer suggesting they make the accusation just to use it strategically in court to get custody. But but you're if, if you're 14, 15 years old and you're dealing with a, a legal adult mm -hmm. uh, and, and they're actually actively, you know, acting on an accusation uh, with no uh, evidence. I'm, I mean, did they, I'm, what did they ask? Did they ask her to provide anything? Mm -hmm. Oh, not e no, evident no they asked the only e the only thing they had was verbal that she confirmed that i did that okay so did, i have a question, they, have a question they, my bad for interrupting you so were the the woman you were dating she was an adult mm -hmm. she was tw she was 20 at the time and you were 15. i was 14 going on 15. yeah so what what did they say about the about they, you about your age versus they, her age? I'm telling they did not mention that at all. They didn't say nothing about that. And I mean nothing. They didn't even bring it up. Yeah, I think she used it to deflect what was going on. She was a drug user. Yeah, and if that, that's if right. that happened, if, if that happened, like the fist fight and it, it goes to court, like, hey, why are you messing with a 14, 15 year old kid? Damn. I, man, I took a plea. I took the plea deal. I didn't even have try. I, they had me so scared. I didn't. I just took the plea deal, and I don't. I guess I can get a. It was a judge named Gates P. Y'all can research this yourself. And I remember people telling me that before he left, he said he was going to give out a million years, a million years, an old Caucasian judge. So you, you you did the full ten? I did I did eight and then I went to a halfway house. 
And the only reason I got to the halfway house is because at the time, the head administrator was coming. Uh, I might be giving away too much detail, but what happened is he put me in administrative lockdown wrongfully. And I managed to get with a brother who knew how to do, uh, we used to call them train gang lawyers. And he wrote up the paperwork so far that they hurry up and called me to the uh, head counselor. And she was like, he getting ready to retire. If you uh, get rid of this, we'll put you in every program that you need. And we see that you need, you can be in the halfway house and we'll put your name on the list. That's the only reason why I got to the halfway house. Shit. How, how, but, long, how long ago did you get out? Uh, I've been out um, about eight years. And, I'm 33 now. And what have you been able to do since you got out? Like, Man, what, Dr. T, on? can I be honest with you? What? <sighs> Man, when I first got out, I was, I, I ain't have too much, man. And I didn't, I basically was homeless at first. Mm. I had $1,200 in my pocket, but I, I, I didn't know how to function. I didn't know how to drive. I didn't know the first thing about paying bills. I, I didn't, I just had that money and that's it. The only thing that blessed me, I met a woman who is okay. now my wife okay. and she helped me get on my feet. But other than that, Dr. T, man, I would have, I would have, I, I probably, man, I, I ain't no telling where I would have been. If it wasn't for her, man, mm -hmm. I, I didn't know nothing. I didn't even know how to use a, 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 a touch screen phone. <clears throat> Because when you're in prison, they keep everything from you. Okay. And the only thing that you know is survival. I had a hard time readjusting when cool. I got out because all I knew was survival. Oh, like where I was at, they call it a gladiator camp. And a gladiator camp is almost every other day is something going down where you either got to fight, you got to be on point, you got to watch your back, and you got to walk with a weapon, a shank on you the whole time because somebody might get you. Now, the thing about me was, and I, I know y'all probably familiar with this, when you got that, that label right. over your head, mm -hmm. everybody gunning for you. Okay. Everybody. Okay. So it wasn't, I can say it, was, it wasn't even, a, I never went almost a whole week without getting into an altercation simply because the charge. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that really helped me was I was, I managed to meet a brother named Farrakhan. Okay, and Farrakhan saw 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 something in me because I was in special ed up until that point, so I didn't know how to really read. I didn't know how to really write. I I was just I was I was just a a, a, a product of my environment. And when I got with Farrakhan, he showed me how to read, how to write, how to uh, finances. He basically, and how to be, he gave me a book and he told me, I want you to read this book. And it was called Message to the Black Man by the mm -hmm. Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And every night he used to bring me and a few other guys into the room and he would tell us how, you know, the black man is God and, okay. uh, you know, how, that we're more powerful than what we think we are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and he gave us that strength to say, okay. I ain't no idiot because for a long time I thought I was stupid. Was he was he a counselor or was he in with no, you? No, he was an inmate. Okay, Farrakhan. Oh, 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 well, I can say the nickname. He was locked. He got a life sentence. He, you know, he got a, he, he gonna, he basically gonna die in there. So, so if I understand you, you had uh, one brother who, you know, kind of helped you find yourself who was also mm -hmm. an inmate. And then you had another inmate who helped you get out. By helping you with the, the, the legal ease in terms mm -hmm. of how to explain your situation. So you didn't get help from you know any particular lawyer or program. You got help from other black men who was who were locked up with you. you yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's correct. Like now, once once go ahead. So now are you are you on any particular list in regard to where you can live and where you can go? Yes, sir. I am. I am. Um basically <clears throat> I, in the state that I live in, you it's uh, a thousand feet from a school, a thousand feet from a library, a thousand feet from where, you know, like parks and stuff. So in every, they do what's known as random, uh, random, um, random checkups. Yeah. And they'll, the, the, the chef will come and he'll have you sign some papers to make sure that you're here. Um, 
Halloween, you know, if you're on parole, if you're on parole of probation, you got to go to the, the the safe house. It's a lot of stuff. And, and on so my what, birthday, so essentially, what 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 will happen if you decide to have kids yourself with with this? Well, that's the crazy. Okay, now this is crazy, isn't it? But it's true. I'm just being honest. If you have your own kids, they don't do nothing. I got two girls right now. Wow. And the the chef just came by. He asked me, "How's your daughters?" I said, "They're doing good. You know, teaching them education. One um, they they young, and um, mm-hmm. you know, they don't they don't. It's like they don't even care." Oh man. Um, yeah, that was a that was a targeted situation for you. You know, like the brother said, the 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 woman knew that she was going to get in trouble, and she turned the tables on you so the the focus wouldn't be on her. But but this is typical of how. I mean, I just saw online uh, just yesterday a woman was was saying she saw a baby sleeping and says, "Oh, he's dreaming of 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 going to jail." You know, I mean, this this is what's programmed in into them. They know that they can use the system against us. I mean, even look at Bell Hooks. We know right. that you know she commented, uh, she wrote about the the Central Park Five. They ended up being uh, not guilty, and she wrote all this scathing um, uh, commentary about them like you know these were these were these were menaces and these were these were boogeymen at at what 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 at teenagers you know so this is this is common so yeah your situation is is, is very much common you know with with black men man yeah. can, let, let me tell y'all something too man and this yeah, hurt my heart mr fbi i'm gonna let you close out because i want to get to the last call but you i just need you got me stupefied but go ahead yeah, go ahead man me let something. me tell y'all something man and I've been fighting. I'm holding back tears because I don't tell it like this. But you want to know what happened to the woman? What happened? Nothing. That woman walking around free right now, free as a bird with no suffering, man. She sleep every night knowing that she put an innocent black man behind bars for 10 years, an innocent teenager. Nothing happened to her. Nothing. See, and you, you're hitting on exactly what tonight's show is about. She knew she could do that. She knew yep. she that she was more likely to be believed than you. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? If the situation were reversed and you had a little kid and you accused her of molestation, do you think that the authorities would have taken you as seriously? No. Right. Hell no. They would have locked him up for being with a 14 or 15 year old. Oh, yeah. No question. We didn't even get to that. You're absolutely right. Ian. <laughs> he wouldn't have been I, able I to finish the accusation before he'd have been locked up. I got you.